Hi everyone, my name is Dee Dee. After a horrendous defeat at the hands of this, the Balfour Island group monster, I've sadly been pushed to have to respawn at a way shrine, which you can't choose, which is so annoying, and I'm here now. Here. Ooh! Right. I shall take my vengeance on you group of beasts. You shall pay for your insolence. I literally haven't done much more. Oh, let's have a quick chat with this Lion Guard dude just to make, get some quests going. Hopefully this group dude will be a bit easier. The Blood Thorn attacked the town and took control oh, nice. of the place. I mean, sorry, that's to keep an eye on things, but we're not to engage not? the enemy. Still, something about all this bothers me. I just can't put my finger on it. Mm, what are you thinking, bro? Something's definitely not right in the village. Whatever the Blood Thorn are up to, it's taking a lot of effort. They're moving around a lot. We've seen boats sailing into and away from the docks. Maybe the Red Rook bandit we caught knows more. Deja vu. He says his name's Tamian Selen. We caught him trying to sneak past us into the village. Dame Clarique's convinced he's up to no good, but I'm not so sure. Maybe you could talk to him. Uh, so, what? Hang on. So, he tried to sneak in, but he's not... She reckons he's doing bad stuff, but you reckon he's all right? What in the smeg? Um, I don't really follow that at all. But I'm going to come back to it because, you know, I want to kill this massive beast first. And that's what Elder Scrolls Online is all about, killing massive beasts. Hurrah! Um, and then I should go in and discover that town and then get myself to a point where I can go back there and exact my vengeance, as I always seem to say, on that massive group beast that killed me. Well, it was two. It was my regret. The binds me to this place. Bad times. What's going on, Leon? Don't recoil from me, traveler. I mean you no harm. I'm a spirit of regret, not malice. Uh, you're probably not very exciting to talk to then, are you? But What do I regret? I regret Why everything. Regret stuff but most of all, I regret betraying Oh, Rosalind. dear. Beyond lies Westry, or what remains of the place. This was my home. Until the day the Nords attacked, the curse fell upon um, So if I say what happened, I think he's already told you that that was his home and the Nords attacked and the curse fell upon them. So am I expecting a sarcastic answer? My wife, oh. Rosalind, took up her sword. I should have trusted her, but I hid and prayed. Oh. A darker voice than Stendars answered me, and the town paid the price. Will you walk my wife's path? If you fight as she did, perhaps you can lift this curse. You're not much of a man, really, are you? In fact, that you let your wife pick up a sword and get... <clears throat> well, the sounds of it pretty much killed, uh, and you sat there and prayed. I hope you're some kind of priest or something, Leon, because it's not a good look so far. Rosalind fought to the end. When the Nords attacked, many of us cowered, but not Rosalind. She took action. Once they were Nord invaders... But now, they are animated corpses and wraiths. Fight them, as Rosalind did, and relive her final moments. Okay, I suppose. I don't know. While I prayed she fought the invaders, I heard that she was going to light the signal fire at the lake to warn Eaglesbrook mm. and perhaps compel them to aid us. Find something of hers, some jewelry perhaps. It may help. Oh. Didn't I say? Forgive me. My memory is okay, often she's attached to the captain of the town guard. These days. <laughs> I do forgive you, Nolan. My wife was the captain of the town guard. She was dedicated. She never turned from her duty. I don't know. Right. While I... Oh, why hasn't that mission started? Come on. Find a key. Uh, Rosalind uh, fucked. Uh, if you oh, find good. one of Rosalind's. You, Leon, have the strangest quest in history. Because you regret stuff, you can't leave. Even though it sounds like you did everything that you could. What was that? This is what I'm here to see. Azard the Putrid. A mega zombie. Zombie to rule all zombies. He's a level 11, so I should be able to kill him. So I'm just going to wait for him to respawn. And as I'm doing that, I think I will just check this, check this place out. A little, little skelly man. 
collect a keepsake, so let's find the keepsake of Rosalind. I'll leave Skelly Man alone. What a Skelly Man. You know he'll try and stick his sword in you if he can, because he's an undead with some serious issues. And you know that he's been dancing through the night. Anyway, um, stop singing that nonsense. Level 17? Bro, come on. Get some challenges in your life. Yeah, level 17 as well. Is there anything of Rosalind's in here? Rosalind! Oh, Rosalind! It looks pretty, pretty desolate apart from the bed spade. Look at that, it's got pillow, mattress, duvet, sheets, everything. Pretty weird considering I haven't got a door. But let's not ooh, go into that too much. Chill out, Mr. Chill out. See you. Don't hurry yourself. It's fine. Seriously. Ooh. Wolfman's Guide to Better Thieving. Wolfman Shadow Cloak. So, do you want to make it as a cut purse? Hell yeah! You want to live the life of a criminal? All right. Always one step ahead of everyone and pockets breathing with gold drakes? Of course. Maybe it appeals to you and try and earn a living by robbing some wealthy merchant or extorting your local shopkeepers. Let me give you advice. Don't bother. <laughs> For every skilled thief I've met in my day, I've met 20 who thought they had what it took but ended up in jail. There's a lesson there, people. But if you don't like anything, if you're like anything like me, you don't listen to advice. You do whatever you want and never let anyone else tell you otherwise. So, what's the point in this book then? That's the question. If you've got a book about thieving but you don't listen to anyone or actually take any advice, then you're not really going to read the book, are you? Anyway, <clears throat> to oblivion with the risks. Haha. -ha. All that matters is the coin. Sound familiar? If it does, then this book might teach you the difference between acting like a petty thief and a master criminal. All right. I want to know what you're thinking. Who's, who's, who's this wolf bear? Who does he think he is, telling me how to be a better thief? What makes him an expert? Simple. Maybe you've heard the heist in Mournhold, when Arch Cannon's sacred diamond ring went missing, or perhaps the tale of the Elder Scroll gone missing and the White Girl Tower reached your ears. That's right, it was yours truly. Hurrah! I've done what just about every kind of job you can imagine, and put the drakes away to prove it. Wallop. How else could an ex-thief find resources to publish his own book? Yes. Now that I've got your attention, let's talk about the two most fundamental skills you'll need to sharpen if you want to make it as a cut purse. Pickpocking and uh, picking lockpicks. Sorry about that wrong way around there. Uh, before you roll your eyes and throw away this book in disgust, I can promise you the easiest way to get caught is to ignore the basics. But if you can master these activities, you'll find yourself swimming in coin. Hurrah! Um, yeah. Sounds like a really good chap. Wolf beer. Oh, hello. Good old wolf bear. Legend that is. Stolen Elder Scroll. I mean, that's no, that's no mere feat. I mean, I, I don't even know how you do that without, you know, going blind or something. Reading Elder Scrolls and stealing Elder Scrolls. It's uh, not good. I should have read that. Sorry. Rislav the Righteous, Part One. Like all true heroes, Rislav Latrius had an auspic inauspicious beginnings. We are told chronicles that the springtide night in 1448, the year of the first area on which he was born, was unseasonably cold, and that his mother, Queen Leander, died shortly after setting eyes upon her son. So, inauspicious, the fact that he, his mother was a queen doesn't really make sense to me. Um, you'd think that he probably was quite well off. I need some binoculars to work out if um, the dude has respawned. I haven't found what's her name? Ros Rosalind's stings, but I don't want to shoot. Oh, come on, dude. Respawn. What's going on? What's that? Oh, it's a greatsword. Where is it? I can't even see it. Where is it? Greatsword? Oh, it's there. In the sit you can just about. Oh, that's better. You can see it there. Is that like Holy Grail? Is he going to spawn up now? No. Um, 
that's how I'm still none the wiser where Rosalind's thing is. Well, let's, uh, let's kill this dude. It's so easy, it's just insane. Absolutely insane. Well, I guess we better keep looking for Rosalind's keepsake. Maybe I'll just murder a few zombies and raids. Sorry about that. Ooh, made for restoration stuff. I was thinking maybe I should, um, yeah, try and vary the uh, weapons I'm using a little bit. Maybe when I get to level 15 I'll switch. I'll get some bows out and some staffs out. I just can't really see the bad by using some staff. I can see using a dagger. So maybe I'll go two-handed on it. That would be quite good. But I just don't really need it. Rosalind's locket! Alright! Activate signal fire. Uh, has binoculars says hasn't respawned. Where's the signal fire? Just, just over there, I think so. So yeah, I think I'm going to do some two-handed action and get a bow out as well. That'd be quite good. Restoration staff's not so much. Can't really see him using a restoration staff, really. He's a vampire, after all. That is possibly the oldest signal fire I've ever seen in my entire life. It's also the biggest. I'm not really sure who I'm signalling, in fairness. I hope they see the signal in Eagle's Brook. Now I should go see Edgar at the inn to make sure everyone is safe. Okay. She seems like Rosalind seems like a really nice person. It's not a proper shame if she's uh, stitched up by her husband. Seriously, would you respawn? Come off it, bro. Right, to the pub! To the pub with us! One of my favourite places. The Boozer. Hello. Hello, Archie. I like your hat. That's a lovely hat, I say. Is that the Boozer? That's a nice Boozer, actually. Look at it. It's kind of like waterfront location. Just out of town, so, you know. Ooh, hello. What's going on there? Come on, 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 come Stay back. Wait, is that you, Captain Rosalind? Yes, runs all round. For the moment, I haven't forgotten how to swing a sword, and the inn's walls are stout. They're, they're actually made of stout. The the beer that you're drinking, that sounds wounded, particularly she dangerous. She needs more hawthorn berries. She can't make more healing poultices without them. Okay, let me gather some hawthorn berries for the spirits. Um, that would help a lot. And you, you spirit your way around here. Oh, shot, shot, my friend. Shot, shot, shot. Always good to have. Guard said Muriel needs hawthorn berries. The berries grow on low shrubs, right? Uh huh. That, that signal fire's not looking too, uh, too bright. Stay away from them. Another shrubberoony. I have to hurry. The injured need more healing poultices. See you later. Oh, two more. more. I really. It's one thing I really don't like about. 
MMO. Leon made me a potion from these berries. Collect ones. ten. I remember. Kill now. three. Talk to seven. Harvest six. Might really want me to one run around aimlessly for. This should do it. Ten minutes. Now to head over to the apothecary. Well, more like the two in that respect. Am I coming back to you? No. Good. Where's mules? I wish I was the fastest horse. I'm gonna get. Uh, I can't buy the tiger now. But anyway. Have you respawned, Mr. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah. We are munching on something over there, Asgard. Alright. Time for. Shall I kill the ads first? It's gotta be kill the ads first, isn't it? Some group death, all about him. He's just running around like a zombie. Look at him, he's massive as well. Oh my days, how big are you? Oh, ow. You are insanely huge. But I have the weapon to deal with your insanely hugeness. Take some more magic you're in. Alright, so let's just hit you with a sword. It doesn't seem to be very scary, to be honest. So. I oh, know you're level 11. Elite. Look at him, he's absolutely huge. Oh. Take this. Oh, he's actually decked him. Healing with Burnus. Oh, yes, Asgard the Putrid. Look at him, he's awesome. He's literally one shot me. How on the smeg did that happen? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give How did you really one shot me there? That was unbelievable. What? I am so, so angry. I'm so angry. What was that ridiculous? What was that ridiculousness? Seriously, what on earth? I'm just gonna talk to you really. I'm so annoyed. Hey, um, Tamian selling. Please, they yeah, won't good. listen to me. It's true that I used to run with the Red Rooks, but I quit. I hate all the chaos they're causing in Glenumbra. So why are you tied now, up? Just, the guards caught me sneaking around. They don't believe I'm trying to save the village. The Bloodthorn are right. gathering. My father's a maid. It's called Mary. My father. <sighs> I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I just have to take that quest. I don't want to listen to it because it's exactly the same as the quest I had in the last episode, which is basically we've caught someone, talked to him, and blah blah blah. How is that overhead? I think it was a left. No, was it a right? It was his left. An overhead left from. Okay, he's part of Big Chap. That's our putrid. But seriously, I have like full health, and it one shots me. So annoying. Yeah, I nearly killed him as well. And now you haven't even got your mates to keep you. are really gonna die this time. Die. He didn't even like charge it up or anything. He just kind of. It's just a. It's just a. As are the future. It's just an absolute dog. I miss that. I don't miss that. Seriously. Hey, Look how easy it is to kill him out. Wow, oh, okay, right. He caught me then with one of his crosses. Suck my blood. Really? Really? How oh, are the putrid? You one shotted me. It wasn't even like one of those, was it? It wasn't even like a proper heavy attack that you used, was it? Really? Really? Hey. Goon. Better actually heal up the goon. And uh, stay away. Annoying. Meg. 
good. Silly, putrid giant of a man. Uh, seriously was. That's a lot of money there. Seriously was proper annoying. I can't believe that happened. Seriously. I'm going to stop saying seriously. But seriously. <sighs> well, he's dead anyway. Yay, I killed a group monster, which was level... Oh, was it just... I don't know if that was ever happened. That wasn't beautiful, was it? I'm losing all my skills. Don't watch. Turn the TV off. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Oh, am I going to lose it? Oh, no. I'm too much in shock. Ah! Ah! I'm, I've lost it. I've lost it. I've genuinely lost it. Please, people, just turn the TV off now. I actually don't. Because then you won't be watching it. Come on. Thank you. Iron Ball of Frost. Gimme, gimme, gimme that. Gimme that, gimme that. Oh yeah. Check, check, check it out. Where is it? That's an Inferno Staff. Oh, I've got loads of kit. 366 as opposed to 364. This is gonna be a absolute skelly whacker. Oh, even this is the sound of it. Skelly whacker, skelly whacker. Look at it. Look at that. Look at this. Just a massive, mace, skeleton crushing beast. Fantastic. I'm not sure how good it's going to be on raids, but there you go. That's not the point. Right. Oh, hello. Sorry, didn't realise you were about. Uh, sorry to disturb you in your sleep. Um, if you can just go back to whatever you were doing. Thank you very much. What are you doing? What's going on in the corner there? I brought the hawthorn berries you need. Uh, I've got the hawthorn berries you need. Captain Rosalind. I've been making poultices for the wounded, but there you I'm go. out of popcorn. Hi, Mara. You always oh, did have good timing. Here, let me prepare some poultices for you. If you can apply these to any wounded guards, they should be able to get back to What are you doing? There's like a wall going on out there. Stop looking at the bookshelf and expecting your fine crockery. Anyway, right, uh, here you go. Poultice one. Muriel's got like a stomach ache. Right? Now, get back yeah, into the fight. It's a stomach ache. And who else is knocking around? Oh, I've got to find them. Oh, there's one here. There's another one there, and there looks like there's one down there. That's good. You've got a stomachache as well. What were you eating? Did you run out to go like for curry last night or something? Oh no, you look a bit worse for wear. You can stab in the face by the looks of it. Or slash chest, that's what I meant. Come on. He's Rest easy, soldier. I need to check on Leon. Leon? Who's Leon? Lieutenant Marlin, you Captain, hurt. You need something. I went by your house to check on Leon. He was praying, but something what wasn't right. He wasn't praying <gasps> to Stendar. Not to Stendar? At least it wasn't like any Stendar prayer I ever heard. And I heard another voice in the house. It was alien, Captain. Evil. I don't mind admitting that what I heard has me more than a little... That sounds like Daedra to me. Let's go. Nothing wrong. Oh, sorry. I think I love more than taking out some Daedra. Uh, listen Leon. to Rosalind. Leon, are you here? Leon, where are you? Oh, 
this isn't a good, does it? I forsake the mercy of Stendar and deliver myself to you, Molag oh, Ball. Dear. What? Molag oh. Ball? Leon, what have you done? I Rosalind? do not condone this madness. No. What have I done? What? Rosalind, please! Dude, I don't think Hello. she's going to forgive you for basically joining Molag Ball. Leon, Leon, Leon. No wonder you're looking so down-faced. Now you know how I brought this evil upon Westry. Too weak to trust in Stendar. I gave us all to Moloch Ball. Um, right, so this is the thing, yeah? So I'm retracing Rosalind's footsteps to free the village from the curse, but the curse has been created by you. Well, I suppose I should do it. Perhaps. Maybe you can help us. You're attuned to Rosalind now. If anyone could break this curse, it's, it's not you. Bring Rosalind back, is it, Ray? When Rosalind discovered what I did, she fled to the town chapel. She lost her sword after a battle with the Nord leader. Retrieve the sword and bring it to her remains. The sword's in the chapel, the building beyond the burial vault. Yeah, how do I know I'm not doing basically Moloch Bal's work for you? Because you are a basically an evil, danger worshipping nutcase with a strange haircut and a basically a pine face for a beard, Leon. Yes, you deserve the truth. Molog Ball turned Rosalind into a vengeful shade. It turned her into the tormentor of the people she fought so hard to protect. The sword might remind her who she really is. If not, you must destroy her and set us free. I'm not setting you free. I'm going to set everyone else free but you. I'm going to leave you exactly wandering around looking like that, to be honest. Please finish this. Retrieve the sword from the chapel and take it to the burial vault where Rosalind died. Do what I cannot and face my poor wife's shade. Oh, Leon. You've really uh, messed up this time. Right, Varieties of Faith, the Bretons. Akosh, Akatosh. The chief deity of the eight. I'm not reading about everyone's gods. I'm sorry. Um, so he went running actually this way after, didn't he? Rosalind! Rosalind! What's down there? Mm, this looks like a Krypton half. Uh, Lotus, no. Not interested in food. It's literally just someone's. Just this one crypt here. By the looks of it. That's the most pointless crypt, excuse me, pointless crypt I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, who's that? See, he's digging. Oh, that's amazing. Check him out, he's digging. What's he digging for? You like, he's, he's, I found my friend. Come on, come out with me. We could be skellies together. Little skelly men. <laughs> he's not making very much uh, advances though, is he? And I can't see that he's burying that bro. He's got him digging his mate up. His little skelly friend. Oh. Right. Oh dear. Rosalind. She's, she's seen better days, hasn't she, old Rosalind? Oh. Oh no, that's her. That's her blade. Oh, that's right. I was going to say, she didn't look too too good. That looks like a mint sword, though. What's this? Letters from Leon and Rosalind. I collected our letters in this book, so we always record our blossoming of love. To Rosalind, I accidentally let, let your dog go free and he tore up some of the garden. Wow, this is a wonderful start. I planted some more seeds to make up for it, but I wanted to let you know so you weren't surprised when you got home. I hope your training in Daggerfall is going well. Stendar, watch over you, Leon. Dear Leon, if Bailey gets into something he shouldn't, just bat him on the nose. <laughs> I hope you didn't go to too much trouble planting things. It's nearing winter, and after all, but still, I do appreciate it. Actually, Leon is rubbish, isn't he? I wanted to leave this note before I left to Cam Lawn. The flowers you planted were beautiful. Ah. Did you still ask around to find out what my favourites were? Ooh. 
cunning man. I also lied to you about the garden. You extended my garden out on the six paces just to plant those flowers. It was sweet. But aren't you an acolyte? And what would Stendhal think of your deceptions? Oh, there's clues there, Rosalind. There's clues. As long as you enjoy the flowers, Stendhal will understand. I do apologize for lying to you, though. I'd be happy to take the plants wherever, wherever you're away. Uh, dear sweet Leon, you must visit and tend my garden whenever you please. I get home in two weeks. Perhaps you can plant some roses together when I get... I like that very much. Oh, my days. Most boring couple in history. I mean, yeah, ah, oh, sweet couple. Such a sweet couple. Oh, skelly. Oh, hello. Take that. Take the mace. In the mace! He's still digging, still after his mate. Ah, oh, this makes sense now. There is a purpose to this. Alright, oh, that's Rosalind. She doesn't look too great, to be fair. Whoa! Oi, calm down. Oh, well done, calm down. Have a seat. Sit down. Oh, Rosalind's remains just don't look good, do they? What's he doing with his fingers? The, the, the cursed... The spirits of Westry belong to me! Where's she going? Don't hide from me. You've got, you've got things to give to me. Like... Your soul... Uh, After her. Release the spirit! Release the spirit! Oh my goodness, give me my health back. Where's she gone? What's that noise? That was a freaky noise. Uh, right, health, that's good. That's good. Is that it? I actually could apply that. Uh, was it? Was that enchantment on that? What was the enchantment I picked? I think it was. I seem to have stolen quite lots of goods, haven't I? Actually, I'm going to wait until I get something. I think that was an enchantment I can add to some armor, which I'll wait until I get some stuff. Rosalind, I've saved you. You had the strength to do what no one Hurrah. else could, and now yes, I'm free. You, are. you have no idea what that means to me. But tell me, stranger. Why did you do uh, all this? Ah, because I quite like you, and you seem like a nice girl. No? No? All right, Leon sent me. Leon. I loved him once. Perhaps I still do. But there's the matter of yeah, Morlock right. Ball to deal with first. Leon made a deal with the Daedric Prince, and despite your actions, that deal I remains in place. I don't think you can get out of a deal with Morlock Ball. <laughs> My shade was only one aspect of the curse. There are also the innocent spirits of Westry, and the angry spirits of the invaders. Use my sword to make the town safe for mortals, or use this gem to set the innocent spirits Ooh. free. Uh, sword or gem, sword or gem, sword or gem, sword or gem, definitely sword. Then you must destroy the enraged wraiths and make Westry safe for mortal travelers once again. But that will leave the innocent spirits of Westry's villagers trapped here forever, bound to the haunted town. Ooh, that's harsh. Why don't I use the gem? Then you would free the spirits of Westry's innocent villagers, ending their bondage to this place. However, the danger to mortal travelers would remain, and the living will never find welcome or solace within Westry's borders. Right. Decision time then, people. Now, the mortals, right, they still, you know, they're mortal, so... In a way, they could like pass around a message to say, "Don't go near Westry because it, it, it doesn't look too good in there." Or I make it nice and say Westry can be used going forward, but the villagers who got stitched up by Leon kind of remain stitched up. Now, but what I am thinking, which Rosalind in her infinite wisdom hasn't mentioned, is that Monarch Bow is the one that's put the curse on the town. So if I can defeat Monarch Bal, which I'm sure I will do at some point, maybe if I'm very lucky and I have time enough this millennium to get to the end, then yeah, 
then that doesn't really matter because I can that lifts the curse as well. So if I save the innocent and then kill Moloch Bal, then that would cure the village and it's best of both worlds. But if I just release or just kill them now, then they say trapped forever. Although actually, when I kill Moloch Bal, that curse will get lifted and then yeah, they should be brought that way. So do I want to free them? No, let's free them. Or shall I? Oh, the decisions. Rosalind, you've just given me like. No, let's be nice. This gem represents Westry's torment. I'm going to free the villagers. Free the villagers! Uh, I'll just let everybody know, just don't go near Westry because it's not a really nice place because someone called Leon decided that he uh, wanted to make a deal with Molag Bao, the crazy monkey. I mean, he would do that. He would actually go, oh yeah, Molag Bao, yeah, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, go and work for him. Yeah, sounds good. There's a rat. I assume like these dudes who I can sit uh. Feel that crunching. Oh no, I know. It's like the best. It's like the best thing about oh no. Oh, I thought for a minute that I was going to mistime that completely. Uh, and here's one heavy attack that hit me before I healed. I survived! The eight saved You're safe, me. bro. Released! I released you! You are released! Come on. You are released too. What's a book? Book stack. Oh, I've read the book stack. Better thieving. Oh, it's good that they've uh, made the bed for everyone, though, who might want to come visit. Knock, knock! I fear the worst! Alright, don't worry about it, you're released. I released your. Oh, excuse me, don't worry about me, just coming through. Just passing through, nothing to see it. Thank you, sit down, well done. Sit down! Oh, that was a bit loud, wasn't it? There you go. The eight saved me. Uh, sorry about you. Um, I need to do five, so you didn't count. Right, where's Magedly on then? Oh, you two again. I should have remembered, <laughs> I should have remembered you there. Never mind. If I keep. Jogging on with the horse. Talk to Leon. Leon, you are probably the most hated person in the history of Westry. He didn't know. The lamentations of Westry's dead have been silenced. Now I can finally tell Rosalind how sorry mm. I am. Our torment is finally over. Rosalind has forgiven me, though Stendar what? knows I don't deserve it. Our thanks for bringing peace to Westry and rest to us all. May you walk and stand our Seriously, light. you do not deserve to be forgiven. Although I get Captain Rosalind's blade, which is sweet. And I level up. Level up! What should I go for? Ugh, I could do some health, really. Stop getting one shot in my stuff. And. Uh, any progress in the vampiric skills? Not really. I've got so many skill points, I should really actually take some good. Um, yeah, I should take some. Oh, it's level 12. It looks pretty. Oh, it's one added. That'll be right. When I get to level 12, I shall go double double skilled. And I need to go to Cyrodiil. But yeah, I was saying, I could, you know, those, I've got three skill points, and I'm kind of saving this with the vampire skills, but actually the vampire skills is not leveling up at all fast, at all. It doesn't really matter if you use it. I'm going to leave it equipped because I think it goes up a little bit, but um, it's really not progressing that fast. From what I understand, you have to get a little bit further up the old level chain um, in order to do that. Ow! Oh, okay. Don't you know I'm level 10 now, bros? Making a mistake. A very big mistake. Give me your blood. Is 
So it's a um, case of I need to get to town. I'm gonna buy some stuff and, and do some cool things. Uh, I might just travel there because I'm so lazy. Time 64. 64? Yeah, I can pay 64 gold for that. That's fine. And then I'm gonna go to some merchant man and I'm gonna kick him out with level 10 stuff. I'm level 10. I'm level 10. <laughs> it's like, how how joyful can you be to be such a low level? <laughs> level 10 is really not very far up the game, though, is it? Let's be honest. Look, Matt. Uh, let's put it that way. I don't really like playing this game at night. You can't really see as much as what's going on. So, uh, somewhere I never really go to is somewhere I need now, which is the trader. I don't know if you guys really realise this. You probably do, but you can buy some really good kit off the vendors at low level. Am I going the right way? The answer is no. And I'm going to see what I can get for my massive pool of gold that I have. And then I probably will love keep on adventuring. Well, I'm going to deconstruct it. There's no point in making... Well, I could make some stuff, I guess, but... Um, what's the armor, bro? Armor, bro! Uh, not that. You know, the leather... I don't want the leather worker. Well, no, I do want the leather worker. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, because you need to mix up your kit. Uh, I don't want any of that, though. Sorry. Not interested in you. Got what I'm after. I don't care how. You've just got girdles. You've got standards. Bunch of standards. You must be at. So much to do. Horse just got so strangled by the, uh, the tent pegs. I think. Maybe, 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 maybe. Sorry. There we go. So I'm after level ten, little known heavy armor. Pow. I'll take one of those. Let's see. What did that give me? It should be good because it rhymed. Girdle of stamina. Boom. Oh, I'm inventory full. Right. I'm just going to crack through this then. Let's um, sell the stuff that I don't need, which is also worth a lot of cash. What did we have? No, I need to deconstruct that. Yeah, you can go. You can go. You can go. You can go. I've only got, I've only got 3,000 gold. That's rubbish. And that can go. And I've got one lockpick. That's my pathetic attempt earlier to actually unlock stuff. So, let's open that take that. That's going to give me a bad boy girdle in the house. Girdling the house. 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 Girdling the house. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, look. It's got a little kind of, like, jaws coming off it. Is that one? Yeah, it's got, like, some teeth. I don't know if you can see that on your screen, but it's got, like, some teeth coming off it, which is aimed straight at his gonads, which would be really painful. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly spec out this, uh, spec him out and uh, buy some more queer, just sort out his inventory, do all that sort of good stuff, ready for the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching, hope you guys are enjoying it. As always, give us a like, please subscribe, massively helpful to me, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care now.